The James Webb Space Telescope has done it again, fascinating the scientific world with a breakthrough that dares to push us beyond what we believed was possible. With every new photo and every bit of data it returns to Earth, our cosmic understanding is being rewritten. Old paradigms are being broken, long-held theories are being questioned, and new questions are arising quicker than they can be solved. In an especially breathtaking twist, Webb has assisted in the identification of an object so large and expansive in size that it rebuilds what we understand of the universe's architecture. This 100 million times more massive object is thought to be around 100 times the size of our Milky Way galaxy and is not just a record-breaking detection but also an enigma that has researchers all over the world questioning how something so enormous could possibly exist. The history of this discovery begins with an overview. Since July 11th, 2022, the day when the James Webb Space Telescope unveiled its very first photo, it has been revealing a window into previously unseen regions of the universe. From distant exoplanets and ancient galaxies to the creation of stars and nebulae, every observation has added another layer of richness and complexity to our image of the cosmos. The telescope's incredible sensitivity allows it to detect ancient light traveling billions of years across space, revealing celestial objects as they were shortly after the birth of the universe. Naturally, with this powerful tool scanning the skies, it was only a matter of time before it stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. That extraordinary object turned out to be a massive radio galaxy now known as Alcyonius. Unlike most galaxies that produce visible light, radio galaxies generate strong radio frequency radiation. These emissions, ranging in frequency from 10 mHz to 100 GHz, are generally produced by supermassive black holes found at their centers. These black holes don't just devour matter, they also expel it. They fire forth enormous streams of charged particles that move at almost the speed of light, extending far into the unseen reaches beyond the galaxy itself. These jets are important in redistributing matter, sowing the space around with material that will someday have time to collapse into new stars and planets. Alcyonius is not a typical radio galaxy, however. It is probably the largest one ever found. It is situated approximately 3.5 billion light years from Earth, so its size is hard to get your head around. Its complete length, as measured by astronomers using ground and space-based detectors, is around 16 million light years. For comparison, the Milky Way is around 100,000 light years in width. Alcyonius is therefore almost 100 times bigger, stretching over a distance light would take 16 million years to cover. If somehow it were visible to the naked eye in our night sky, it would be as big as the full moon. Even though unimaginably distant from us, what makes this even more astounding is how Alcyonius was first discovered. It wasn't seen suddenly appearing in a flash of light or obvious picture. Instead, it was discovered through careful examination of very weak radio signals detected by LOFR, the Low Frequency Array, an array of radio telescopes spread across Europe. Astronomers had been picking up hints of an unusual source for years, but the signals were so weak that they were almost indistinguishable from background noise. It required the reprocessing of millions of hours of data and the implementation of new algorithms to ultimately pinpoint the patterns that verified the existence of this massive galaxy. Retroactive discovery, looking back through previously accumulated data for overlooked clues, has become a more and more useful weapon in contemporary astronomy. It illustrates that sometimes the most revolutionary findings don't necessarily come from new directions with the telescopes, but rather from examining better what we already know. The reality that Alcyonius was in plain sight is both humbling and thrilling. It implies the universe still has infinitely many secrets even in the existing data. Alcyonius is more a question than an answer. First and most obviously is the question of its size. How did it come to be so enormous? Scientists initially wondered if its central black hole was exceptionally energetic, propelling more energetic jets that stretched farther than those elsewhere in the universe. But further examination revealed that Alcyonius's black hole is really fairly standard when it comes to mass and energy output. Its stellar mass and radioluminosity are not exceptional among giant radio galaxies. This paradox, that an otherwise ordinary galaxy might give birth to such remarkable features, has been a central enigma. 
If Alcyonius is normal in all respects, except that it's just so darn big, then maybe our understanding of how galaxies grow and change is imperfect. To add to the mystery, it lies in what astronomers term a cosmic void. These are huge parts of the universe with much less matter, fewer galaxies, less gas, and fewer stars than normal. The Milky Way galaxy lies within one such void called the KBC Void. Alcyonius seems to be situated in a corresponding low-density area. Somehow it has managed to grow radio jets that span millions of light years through the emptiness. When these jets encounter the tenuous intergalactic medium, they do not travel in linear motions. Rather, they curve and swing, forming immense arcs that have been likened by some astronomers to a cosmic waltz. This poetic account captures the wonder of the phenomenon but also indicates how little we actually know about the forces acting. There is one intriguing detail that the apparent lack of moons in Alcyonius. Moons are ubiquitous throughout the known universe, particularly in our galaxy, but have yet to be found within this far-off framework. Such a lack may indicate special conditions within the environment, or perhaps it's simply a limitation of our present equipment. The galaxy's great distance and the paleness of its details render in-death investigation highly problematic. Nevertheless, researchers remain optimistic that the James Webb Space Telescope will ultimately reveal more about its structure and makeup. By examining Alcyonius in several wavelengths of light and comparing radio observations to Webb's infrared abilities, astronomers might eventually assemble a more complete picture of how it works. Surprisingly, Alcyonius doesn't appear to have any features that would make it stand out upon initial inspection. Its radio brightness, the mass of its central black hole, and the star content of the galaxy are all within typical ranges. This suggests the potential for there being numerous other such giant galaxies hiding in the data, waiting to be uncovered using similar methods. Should that be the case, it is possible that our existing galaxy growth and evolution models have critical pieces of the jigsaw missing. Maybe galaxies can build much greater structures than we assumed given the proper circumstances, or perhaps cosmic voids themselves facilitate the growth of such behemoths by offering them enormous expanses of unobstructed room to grow in. The reverberations of Alcyonius's find reverberate far beyond one galaxy. It may serve to hone our knowledge of the cosmic web, the giant network of dark matter and gas filaments connecting galaxies and clusters throughout the universe. Such entities as the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, spanning 10 billion light years and comprising millions of galaxies, belong to this vast web. Alcyonius, with its massive jets and placement in a cosmic emptiness, might be a significant key to the understanding of how matter is apportioned on the largest of scales and how the universe has evolved in the time since the Big Bang. Observing such giants may lead us to understand how the cosmos puts itself together over distances nearly too great to comprehend. As the research goes on, Alcyonius could give important clues about the processes that rule galaxy formation, black hole activity, and matter behavior in the nearly empty regions between clusters of galaxies. It could also give hints on how galaxies interact with the cosmic web and how massive structures emerge in areas considered to be desolate. Its discovery shows how much of the universe remains hidden, yet to be revealed with new technology and improved means of study. What Webb has begun is probably only the start. With future missions like the Square Kilometer Array, an even more powerful radio telescope under development, humanity will soon be able to explore Alcyonius and galaxies like it with unprecedented levels of detail. The finding of Alcyonius also highlights the role of collaboration in contemporary astronomy. It was not the output of one telescope or one research group, but the result of years of work across several observatories, computational techniques, and technological innovation. It reminds us that no single instrument is sufficient to unravel the secrets of the universe. Rather, it is the union of instruments, information, and human creativity that brings these far-off wonders into focus. That Alcyonius is both mundane and wondrous underscores the fine balance between the familiar and the strange that characterizes our forays into the cosmos. Ultimately, the finding of Alcyonius is not the discovery of any single galaxy. It is a rethinking of the universe itself. As we continue to gaze farther into the universe with more powerful instruments such as the James Webb Space Telescope and upcoming instruments yet to come, 
we are being reminded that space is much more enigmatic, intricate, and astonishing than we could ever have believed. Alcyonius is an imposing testament to how much remains to be known and how much there is yet to find in the dark, starry space of the universe. Every new discovery stretches our imagination and reminds us that the universe is not stationary but teeming with secrets, testing us to push the limits of our understanding. Alcyonius is just one galaxy out of billions, but in its vastness, it mirrors the infinite scope of the universe itself and our eternal search to comprehend it.